And we are back. Apocalypse Notes filmmaker Pierre Gaffey, and he is with me right now. Pierre, how are you? Oh, we have you on mute. Hold on one second. There we go. If you'll go ahead, uh, we can't hear you. If you'll unmute. Yeah. Ah, okay. Unmute. There we go. Okay. I'm fine, thank you. I'm not in Brazil. Oh. I'm not in Brazil, so the sun is not shining in Paris. <laughs> It's the okay. rain. It's the rain. Okay. Uh, Pierre, thank you for coming back. Uh, uh, tell tell the audience where you are. Sorry. Tell uh, where where are you right now? You're not in Brazil, so where are you? I am in my living room. <laughs> okay. So the the trip was not long, from the kitchen. Okay. 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 No no so, jet no jet lag. Okay. So you are in uh, France, correct? Uh, Paris. I am in the Paris suburbs. I'm in Free Mice from okay. Paris. Okay, wonderful. Um, you, you have submitted film. I think I've shown maybe three of your films. Uh, wow, what, what what a piece. Uh, I had to watch it the second time I watched it. I watched it to the end to see that you had written it. Wh where did this come from, this conversation of a world where we've used all the musical notes up and we... we we don't have. We have one percent of music that we can create. Where did this come from? Believe it or believe it or not, but it, have, it has always been an obsession for me. I mean, when you are twenty years old, your obsession is how long will my rela love loving relationship will last. When you are thirty, is how long will I keep my work, my job, and when you are above forty you are considering uh, things on a bigger scale. And I think our generation today, uh, for the first time in mankind, is always, we have always the same question in the back of our minds. See, how long will it last? I mean, global warming. So my film is about a musical melting. Uh, yes. Because we discover that uh, nothing is infinite. Wow. Um, I, I always thought that infinity was infinite. But um, <laughs> um, anyway, who is Paul Weller? Oh. Which, which you dedicated it to. You, 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 are, you see everything, Banks. No, 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 no. I, I, I really was waiting at the end of the credits for... Uh, yeah. Your name uh, that you wrote it so that we uh, that we could d d dive into that. But who is Pil uh, Peter Weller or Paul? Paul? Paul Weller. Paul Weller used to be the frontman singer of a band called The Jam in the seventies, eighties. Really famous in in Europe, not as much in America. And now he's having a big solo career. Uh, when I was a teenager, it was a big inspiration. So um, when I when I go to the mu movies when I watch films and um, most of the times I think that filmmakers should dedicate their films to someone uh, because w when you read books there, are, there is always a dedication so why not films and um, and it, it brings me back this dedication to Paul Weller the singer it brings me back to also some um, yeah the obsession about music music's end because I don't know if you, you know most of the things, Banks, but I don't know if you know that uh, music as we know it, our music chart, I mean, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, it has been created by an Italian monk a thousand years ago. And I think at the time that fellow, that monk, Guy D'Arezzo, he couldn't imagine that one day we will be seven billion seven billion people on the earth and that mm -hmm. everyone would love to play music and create music. So uh, it, it makes a connection for me to uh, think of that and dedicate that film to uh, a hero of mine, Paul Weller. Wow, um, you, you've inspired me. I, I might have to dedicate my next film to you. And, and then from there on, I'll be dedicating to, <laughs> to people. Uh, I a love that. A merry-go-round. Yes, yes, I love that. Um, so, so you you have a line in there: uh, democracy does not work in art. Ça marchera pas. Pourquoi? 
on n'arrivera pas à se mettre d'accord. Ça marche pas vraiment la démocratie en art. Oh my, Pierre, that's, that's brilliant. Explain it to me. I'm, I'm, I, I'm not sure I know what that means, but I, I love it. I've never heard it. I mean, you have to be honest with music history. The fight between Lennon and McCartney in the Beatles, uh, stuff like that. But I think um, some fights when you are in a rock band or when you are an, in an orchestra, classical, it's good to have a little tension. Okay. So when I brought that line, democracies, democracies, democracies not working in art, it, it was just a line, but it's something that I really, uh, I really believe in. But sometimes, I mean, you have to be, you have to live in a democracy, democratic system in real life, but in arts, there are many people who are arrogant, arrogant, and yes. uh, okay, it's, there is a balance. Right, right. Um, I, I see your point. Um, let's explore this for a minute. Um, you're a filmmaker. I'm a filmmaker. We make films. You, you, you come up with the idea and you, you, you make it. At, when you're on set and, and you come across an in, a, a, a situation where you, you don't get the shot that you want, however, your DP, your director of photography says, you have these three options. We can't give you yours, but you have three options. The the last the, the 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 last answer is always you as a filmmaker. So it's not you're you're not asking everybody what does everybody think? How many think this? How many think what A or B? So I look I, I can relate to this that democracy is not in art because the artist the the person who is creating I guess is a dictator. <laughs> I, I guess is the that, that's where the buck stops. I, I would tell my crew, hey, I do not make all decisions. However, my producer does. And when it comes to me, my decision will be the last decision. And that's how I did it. Yeah. A, a few years ago, I came upon, I came, sorry. A few years ago, I came upon a quote by a psychoanalyst called, named Carl Jung. Carl Jung. Yes. And he said that, Never forget that your success is based on others, other people's talents. Do, do you understand? I love that I, because you can, uh, there are many, uh, uh, yeah, you are a filmmaker. So sometimes you have to admit that there is a third assistant on the set who can whisper to you here, Pierre, don't you think that? So I think you have to be democratic. Dem yeah. And, yes. And I agree. In, in the end, in the end, yeah. When you are in the editing room, you are recovering your baby that <laughs> you you passed on the set, and you said to everyone, "Be careful, it's my baby." <laughs> okay, but in the end, in the editing room, even for the title, um, "Apocalypse Notes" was not my first choice. And for yeah, it's it's a detail, but. Um, I'm surprised to learn that for some people, the, re the connection between the Coppola film Apocalypse Now yeah. and Apocalypse yeah, yeah. is not automatic. And I was surprised because I was hesitating to, because it's so plain and so it's, you may, tongue in cheek. Right, so right, right, right. Um, you are right. As a filmmaker, you are a collaborator. I mean, and, and, it, and the, and the script supervisor might whisper in your ear, hey, have you thought about not moving and just standing in place and pretending like you're walking because we're only shooting from the head up and, and, and that shot made it into the film because we had, we had audio issues. This is a film that I had. So, so I, I do agree that you, you, you surround yourself by people and you have to be able and willing to listen to them. When you get to a, po a spot where like, I don't know what to do anymore, or I, I, I gotta make a decision and someone does whisper in your ear. Yeah, we have one mouth and two ears. So <laughs> yeah. it's, a, okay, in the end, it's your mouth, but you have two ears. <laughs> two ears, yeah. All right, it's something else in, in this film, uh, music, religion. Oh, wow. Music, religion, um, I just have those two words down. You, you, it's in the dialogue. One of them says, music is not a religion, or it is a religion, or... It's fragile, the music. 
c'est comme une religion. Il dit que la musique est une religion. Parce que quand elle essaie d'inventer une nouvelle note, elle answer back que la musique vient de quelque chose Uh, probably magical and Banks uh, after I directed that film I realized that in our music chart there are seven notes A, B, C, D, E, F, G there are seven days in a week there yeah. are seven, seven wonders in the world um, there are the seven dwarfs with Snow White <laughs> <laughs> I think that the number seven is, is related to music And music okay. is something magical, yeah, oh. and wow. religious, religious. And what yeah. I wanted, in the film, I wanted uh, to mix what is intimate. I mean, it's a love story. It's a couple. The intimate story and the huge story. I mean, a, man, a, a revolution. And um, I, I read um, there is an American singer dead now who is Jill Scott Heron. Um, Jill Scott Heron, and one day he said that the next revolution won't be televised, televised. Yeah, is it correct? He said yeah. that the next big revolution will be intimate in people's um, minds, so it struck ah. something in, my, in me. So I wanted the film not to be huge, and that right. we, we, we discover that extraordinary news for the mankind in a restaurant. Right, right. Uh, Pierre, I love your work. What can I say? Continue. Please continue creating. Please, please. Uh, Thank send you. Send me anything. Yeah, send me anything you have. Um, what a pleasure. What a pleasure talking to you. Um, um, and I, I, would like, I would like to say this. Your English is getting much better. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ben. Thank you for the fidelity to my work. Yeah. And I will yeah. gladly... I will gladly um, pay the fees again. All right, um, my uh, my my wine bill is is cheaper because of you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, uh, Pierre Gaffy um, and the Apocalypse Notes. See you, Pierre. Thank you. Wow, oh, this 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 is exactly why um, I I want to share. Uh, these films, uh, you get to meet filmmakers that are brilliant. Um, uh, Pierre, um, a fourth film that he sent me, uh, one of them didn't have any words in it, um, pushes the envelope, creates stuff that's, that's just inspiring. Uh, it's inspiring for me. It, it's... Um,